It's amazing, right? Hey, come on. You know how it is. We got <laughs> Look at this crease. You know how it is. We got You a liquor fan. I am a liquor fan. That's why you treated me so good, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. I know. <laughs> my little secret. I won't tell her I'm a Knicks fan. Okay. I'm just fronting out here. Are you eating on the iPad? I didn't know that was, I thought that was a menu. <laughs> like an old diner menu that's laminated. <laughs> this is where I need to be. If I did smack, this is the alley I'm doing it in. It's like a sound bag. This is unbelievable. Mm. Ooh, uh, this is a pound of caviar right here. Oh. Oh, man. If this sandwich had a jock strap, McDonald's filet of fish couldn't hold it or wash it. I feel like I have to get out and hug you. I'm Giles, and we're in Yes Restaurant in the Arts District in LA. We've been open two, three months. It's a kitchen led by Junior Yamasaki, and Junior's big challenge is following kind of the fundamental principle of Japanese cooking and culture, which is to follow nature. Thanks for coming. Oh, this is beautiful. Holy yes. shit. How are you? Actually, this is Mariano. Mariano. You too, this is a gorgeous place. How you feeling? You all right? What's up, bro? Good to see you. Yeah, we tried to make kind of calming, comfortable place. I just was overwhelmed with calmness. <laughs> Because it's a chef-led restaurant, a lot of the cooking appliances are quite primitive. Is this from Hawaii? This is from Japan. We bought from Japan. Yeah. We have uh, fire and charcoal. Wow. And today we're going to do ice. Dakota over here is going to make some Irish coffee category for you. Oh. Below this the shaved ice, we use California dates that have been soaking in Irish whiskey. Mm. So Cotter's whipping the cream, which is gonna go on top of the shaved ice, cascading down it. And then Mariano gonna come and just do a little pour over the top um, of the cream with a syrup that we made from very dark caramel. You know, it's going black, almost smelling of coffee, with espresso and Irish whiskey. Um, what Irish whiskey are you using? We're using Proper 12? James in it. <laughs> Conor McGregor. <laughs> this is like V06 mousse that you used to put in your hair. Okay. Remember that stuff? You used to come out of thing, you used to gel your hair and slick it or spike it. So it still looks light. Yeah, and, exactly. Yeah. It's light and moussey. It's fluffy. Mm. It's like styling mousse. That's how I used to spike my hair up <laughs> when I had a mushroom. When was that? Probably around 89, 90. Oh, wow. Exciting times. <laughs> this is breakfast for me. Damn, Mariano. <laughs> My lord. Mm. It's like Zabajom, tiramisu esque. This is gorgeous texture. Holy shit. No, it's particularly balanced, unbelievable. Yeah, we take that caramel quite far, so it's not savory, but it, you're not tasting any sort of sweet taste. But we have to balance out a little bit the whiskey, and then you also want to taste the whiskey, little kick. Good job, everyone, he's, my lord. He's doing a sangria one at the moment as well. Oh really, stone fruit, passion fruit? Yeah, we've And sangria. Exactly. Whoa. Yeah. Bring our kids here. <laughs> this is like adult fun. Damn, Mariano. We gotta get you the t shirt. Damn, Mariano. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really loving the ice structure. This is crazy. Oh. 
You ever heard that song by Salt and Pepper, Wood a Man? <laughs> I just want to sing that to you guys. My Lord. Come on, this is what you get in every fucking fine hotel in the fruit plate. That's what they wish. With a, I, can I, I would like this every morning. The little side of yogurt. These colors make me happy. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you both. Thank you. Mariano. Okay. <laughs> that was one of the most delicious starts to a day I've ever had. Ever. 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 Damn. Waiting for the best fish sandwich ever of life. Alaskan cod? It's a white fish. It's like a it's a white fish. Yeah, but there's so many white fish. It's a white fish, man. Well, that's the guy. What's the name of this fish? What's, what's Little this? fish. And they make the best fish sandwich. Where, where do you get it? Why are we waiting on the We're like getting it from the guy's crib. There's two couples behind it. And they only uh, make it in two places. Black tie affairs and the yeah. fucking apartment. This is how I used to wait for drugs, but we asked to find a nook and always look out. <laughs> Keep six. Check your mirrors. The fish sandwich won't fit underneath my nutsack. Oh shit, it's coming. Just like the weed you. Oh, here it is. Let's go, my G. Holy shit, oh, me. No. What are you fucking shitting me? Handshake me. Oh yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> what up, brother? Oh, you good to see you. Oh yeah. That fucking looks incredible. Yo, let me take a fucking picture of that. You know How many? That? Come on, wait. You know, I want to eat it. <laughs> uh, striped bass, beer batter, <laughs> Kewpie mayo, dill pickles, American cheese. Oh my god. Wow. Fuck me. God. Yeah, that's a good sandwich. Oh! <laughs> I never even had a filet of fish. How about that? This is my first ever. I've never had a McDonald's fish filet. I couldn't imagine even fucking holding this is this is jock strap. If this sandwich had a jock strap, McDonald's filet of fish couldn't hold it or wash it. <laughs> this is goddamn bass. Oh uh, yeah, it's right there. Shit. I feel like I have to get out and hug you. Bro. So fucking good. Thank you so much, man. Thank you dug you. it. Kidding me? Hell yeah. Shit, that was good. In Jack Thai in Sherman Oaks. And uh, it's a place that I've been getting takeout from for a long time. And Justin took it over. Um, during the pandemic and it's just kind of risen into this uh, kind of institution in LA. I love it. On Tuesdays they do this fusion Thai taco kind of thing. My name is Justin Pichad Rungsi and I cook here at Anna Jack Thai, my family's restaurant. For the most part I've been at the helm since 2019. And when did your family start this restaurant? 81, my father started. And was always a wine focused? Terrible wine. There was Kendall Jackson. I think there was just Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and then there was beer for like four decades. I said to my guys behind the wine, like, I wanted to have classic wines and contemporary wines exist on the list. I just tell them, like, have the list represent who we are. Justin won uh, the James Beard Award for uh, Best Chef in California this year. So, bro, you know I was, uh, I was nominated for a BET Award before. <laughs> That's true. The That's only awesome. time I've ever been nominated. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. I 
need this job. <laughs> this job. <laughs> this is a ribeye from the British Baldies program. It's a grass-fed beef that Cream Co. does. Mm. I think it's got amazing flavor. It's not very marbly. It's no like, age, it's, fresh. It's, it's fr this, is a, this is wet aged, no funk. It's just pure meat flavor. This is an MTM seafood. This is, a, this is like a pulse version of the Thai version, but fully pulsed through. A little modification of my father's recipe. Hit me on, uh, hit me on my wrist with a little bit of it. Hit me right on the back of the hand. Thank you. It's <laughs> <laughs> incredible. We have here some papaya salad with some peaches because we're riffing on papaya a little bit. I know? love that. A little spicy papaya. We got a lot of stuff coming up. Thank you. Oh, the chicken is off the hook. My God. Mmm. Crab fried rice. Charlie. How's it going, boys? <laughs> this is our caviar. Yeah, wow. Justin, Justin's my guy. It's per yeah, personal label right there. And then this is our Kaluga caviar. This is a pound of caviar right here. This is our Kaluga caviar. Yeah, perfect with fried chicken. That's obscene. You know what? Bump that too. Why not? What the fuck not? Put it on everything. Make him a little canal. Oh. What the fuck is that? Chef, you're killing it. But we brought you something different. You're blazing hip hop and RB right now. With mint and herbs. Chu toro. Lob style tostada. With a little uni on top. That's how I like fucking uni. That's how I goddamn like uni. Yeah. That's fucking crazy, bro. Thank you, Chef. This is how fucking landish. This is a carbonic Riesling. Uh, Blended with a little bit of barrel fermented Yinye and Chardonnay. Ooh, uh, super fresh, very uh, citrusy. We're gonna break open this strip loin that we've been cooking for the last hour. Damn. So this this knife, it's my dad's knife. It's 50 years old. That's beautiful. Herb salad here. Tremendous. Gastric out of chili jam. Some lime and some toasted sticky rice. Wow. That's special. I'd come down this fucking alleyway any day. <laughs> this is where I'd shoot dope. <laughs> if I did smack, this is the alley I'm doing it in. Hi, Hi, this, this is Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi. Mama's got her tickets of mango sticky rice. She's trying to. Can I get one? <laughs> so we have the first, I think, the first mango sticky rice on the menu that's market price. Like like lobster, like seafood, yeah, yeah, like steak. Because yeah. we have like different tiers of mangoes here. Oh shit. Yeah. This is the good one or what is this? This is a good one. Mm. A little perfect pairing for fun. A little perfect pairing. What do we got? Five putonios, Tokai from Hungary. This is the oh, mango well. sticky rice pairing for our omakase. Do you remember Ian from The Rose? I do, bro. How are you? How are you? Good, good. Is he the one who introduced it all? Yeah. He's the one who made this all happen. And, then he, and now he's here. It's like a very crazy bro. We made this all happen. It's, it's the wine and everything made it happen. Because the first time, the first time Justin and I met, we said we were going to be on a uh, show together. There you are. <laughs> and that was years ago. Here we are. Years ago. And uh, I'm sorry it's not here. fucking awesome. Gordon Ramsay, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry it's not the view. What? <laughs> right on the spoon. Listen. This is a great vibe. Alleyway eating is the new hot thing. This looks like a nice alley. Set some tables up in here, serve some shit up. Right? This alley looks like it'll fucking pop off. Right? Put in a nice little jazz band right there. 
I mean, this is a this is a renaissance. In what? I'm not sure. Just in happiness and fucking alleyway eating. The bench wine of the night is uh, all Estrella Clan. It's also 100% Syrah. So we brought some canes and a suitcase. And uh, they were established at Estrella River Vineyard, so it's called Estrella Clown. Can I tell you what this reminds me of? When I smell it, I smell graffiti. Like I'm about to write on the wall with paint, like Krylon. It smells like Krylon. Bro, this <laughs> smells like motherfucking Krylon. MTV! <laughs> You're gonna see a bunch of circles in the area, like, yo, this kid's huffing. <laughs>